the story of a man sunken deep in the throes. The life of Illa Henry, though it's not the one he knows, it isn't so unlike the life he's lived to date. Never climbing higher than the rank of third mate. Too loud, I gotta respect. Too high, not I gotta resent. Illa Henry finds a friend. This might not be the end. She trusts him with the secret. He guards it with his life. The crew's fraud. It's all for naught. They blame her for the strife. Henry watches on. She's thrown. Now's the chance to let the girl know she won't die alone. Too weak to fight him all off, too loath to pull out that bluff. Ill luck Henry takes a pause, and that becomes the cause of an unextraordinary life filled with regret of looking down, of giving up, abandoning a land. As he drowns out at sea, he makes his final plea. I would be a better man if I could do it again. As he speaks the words, time stands still. The fairy Leonora is outstretched and offers a deal. If you could do it again, you'd be different. You say how many men agree to change, only then to stray. You're too dull to be a good player. Not to try anyway. Illa Henry's born anew, and so begins a slew of unextraordinary, unextraordinary lives. A sailor on the waves who lives and dies for sixty-nine unholy watery graves. Is it futile? Can he change the story that we pen? It matters not. We have to try over and over again, over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over, and over again. souls and taking oaths and cherishing your son could not be told alone a truth i never saw was you had the courage all along you didn't fail because you were too warm to run from what's tough two, two hands, hands were just never enough ill luck henry does the work it's, it's like with fear and turk in this extraordinary life with all that has occurred we all deserve a second chance, we all deserve a third. What makes a life worth living, a story worth the end, are the friends who stick right by your side over and over 